Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tell Player Mouse. Today we're going to find out if Silly Putty is bulletproof. Silly Putty is a sheer thickening non-Newtonian fluid, which means you can just stretch it and squeeze it with your hands, but if you try to put a lot of stress on it, like hit it, it doesn't even dent it. In fact, you can hit it with a hammer, and it just makes the hammer bounce off it for the most part. So what's going to happen when we shoot this? Will the bullets just bounce off of it? Will it explode like a uh, liquid under hydroshock? Or will it be able to stop a bullet? Now we had to put it inside of a container like that. You know, otherwise it would have just drooped into a big blob. The first round we'll use is 22 long rifle hollow points. So not only does Silly Putty not stop a bullet even as small as a 22 caliber, it doesn't even slow it down. The five pound block almost didn't even move when the bullet hit it. And I don't think the bullet even expanded. As you can see, the bullet shooting out the side isn't even deformed. I think a 22 would probably go through two or three feet of Silly Putty with ease. All we have is a very small entry hole and a very small exit hole. Not even a chunk was blown out the back. Bullet also passed cleanly through both sides of the water jug. And this is quite a contrast is what you would see when we shoot pottery clay. <laughs> and now we're just gonna have fun and shoot the block with a one ounce deer slug. I think he hit it. A deer slug has a much bigger frontal area and it's traveling a lot faster at almost 1600 feet per second. These slugs deliver just under 2500 foot pounds of energy. And of course the deer slug had enough energy to go right through that block still, but it just made a lot more ripping and tearing damage as it passed through. As a non-Newtonian fluid, this actually behaved the way it should have. It just had zero stopping power though, unlike our five pound gummy bear that we shot that actually stopped a deer slug. The damage you see here wasn't due to hydrostatic shock like you'd see with the clay or a liquid, but what we see here is damage just from brute force, ripping, tearing, and shattering. Look at that baby. Will it cause the universe to collapse? Let's find out. That's a beautiful glove. <laughs> well, thank you. Let's see what happens when you shoot a silly putty slug at a block of silly putty. Take one, two. <laughs> okay, hit it. I hit it. I hate to say this, but I think this fly was the highlight of this entire shoot. That thing missed being hit by milliseconds. It's always kind of funny what surprises like this show up on the high-speed cameras, because you, you wouldn't even notice the fly on the real-time camera. We tried to shoot this thing three times with three silly putty rounds, and this was the only one it hit. The other ones flew all over the place. And that's the damage to the silly putty from the slug. Hope you enjoyed this. Das ist alles für heute. Bye bye.